You are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus y, this is equal to 8. Let's call this equation 1. And x times y, this is equal to 48. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x and y? Let's start the solution to solve this solution immediately. Now, from equation 1, which is x plus y, this is equal to 8. Let's make y to be the subject of the formula so that y is the same thing as 8 subtract x. So let's call this equation 3. Let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So equation 2 is x times y. This is equal to 48. So equation 3 here, we have x times 8 minus x. This is equal to 48. Let's open the bracket here. x times 8, this is 8x. Subtract x times x, which is x to power 2. This is equal to 48. Let's take 48 on the left-hand side. So that here we have 8x. Subtract x to power 2. Subtract 48. This is equal to 0. Now, let's rearrange this equation so that we have here minus x squared plus 8x minus 48. This is equal to 0. Now, to make this as a quadratic equation, let's multiply both sides by minus 1. So, minus 1 times minus x squared, this is x to the power 2. Now, plus 8x times minus 1, this is minus 8x. Minus 48 times minus 1, this is plus 48. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. So from this, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 8, and c is equal to 48. Now, to solve for the values of x1 comma x2 let's apply the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared subtract 4 ac divided by 2 times a so if you've made it this far kindly like and subscribe so let's proceed let's proceed so here we have let's substitute the values of a b and c we have minus minus 8 plus or minus the square root of, here we have b squared, which is minus 8 squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 48, all this divided by 2. So here we have 8 plus or minus square root of, minus 8 squared, this is 64, subtract now here we have 8 times 4, this is 32, 2 carry 3, then 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3, this is 19. So we have 192 divided by 2. So here we have 8 plus or minus the square root of, now, now here we have 8 plus or minus the square root of minus 128 divided by 2. So this is the same thing as 8 plus or minus. We can express minus 128 as 64 times 2 times minus 1. All this divided by 2. So therefore here we have 8 plus or minus. The square root of 64, this is 8. The square root of minus 1, this is i. Then square root of 2. Then divided by 2. The next step from here. We can factor out 2 here so that we have 2 into the bracket here, 4 plus or minus 4i square root of 2, then divided by 2. So let's divide here 2 and 2 simplifies so that now here we have 4 plus or minus 4i square root of 2. Now this implies that we have x1 equal to 4 plus 4i square root of 2. And we have that x2, this is equal to 4 
subtract 4i square root of 2. So these are the values of x1, x2. So let's solve the corresponding values of y1 and y2. So from equation 3, from equation 3, which is 8 minus x. So here we have y1 is equal to 8 minus x1. So now here, y1 is equal to 8, subtract x1, which is equal to 4, plus 4i square root of 2. So here, we have 8 minus 4, this is 4, minus times plus 4i square root of 2, this is minus 4i square root of 2. So this is the value of y1. So this implies that x1, comma, y1, this is the same thing as 4 plus 4i square root of 2. Then we have y1 is 4 subtract 4i square root of 2. Now, this is the first set of solution that we have. This is the first set of solution. So let's solve y2. y2 is equal to 8 minus x2. So here we have 8 minus x2 x2 is the same thing as 4 minus 4i square root of 2. So this is the same thing as 8 minus 4. This is 4 minus times minus 4i square root of 2. This is plus 4i square root of 2. So this implies that x2 comma y2. This is the same thing as 4 minus 4i square root of 2 and then we have 4 plus 4i square root of 2. So now we have two set of solution here. We have x1 y1, x2 y2. So let's verify here. Let's verify. Let's verify. So from x1 y1, let's apply equation 1. Now from equation 1, from equation 1, we have x plus y is equal to 8. That is x plus y, this is equal to 8. So let's substitute x1, y1 here. We have 4 plus 4i square root of 2 plus 4 minus 4i square root of 2. This should give us a value of 8. So you can see clearly 4i square root of 2 minus 4i square root of 2. This simplifies. And then we have 4 plus 4. And this is equal to 8, which is equal to 8. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. So now the next step is to confirm x2, y2, which is, which is this if this satisfies the equation. Again, let's plug in this equation. So we have 4 minus 4i square root of 2 plus 4 plus 4i square root of 2. This should give us a value of 8. So negative 4i square root of 2 plus 4i square root of 2. Essentially, this simplifies. So we have 4 plus 4. And this is equal to 8, which is equal to 8. So essentially, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, we have two solutions here, two set of solutions, which is x1, y1. And also we have x2, y2. These are two set of solutions. So like this video and kindly subscribe. Watch this video till to the end. So thank you so much and kindly subscribe.